Well, anyway, folks, uh, first of all, I want to thank everyone, really, believe me, everyone, everyone from the bottom of my heart, everyone, all my friends, my fans, my family, my coworkers, my colleagues, everyone, everyone from the bottom of my heart, I'm telling you from the bottom of my heart, that have been wishing me well and they're sending me prayers and sending me and making, putting a smile on my face because it's been a lot of, it's been depressing and I continue with this condition called, uh, uh, the doctors don't know too much about it, it's called Charlotte's foot, uh, charcoal foot and what it does, the bones disintegrate uh, from, the, from the nerves in your feet, from the diabetes they think, uh, from a condition called neuropathy, my bones are actually being washed away. I see, I saw it in x-ray, the bones are just like washing away, they just disintegrating and my foot is taking a form. I used to be have a high arch, and now my foot is taking a, a the, the arch has dropped, so one foot is flat foot. They can't, it won't never come back, but they're scared that it might keep going down, and if it drops down, my foot will go like this, like a rocker, and I'll be walking like, I don't know, I'll be like, I don't know, like a rocking chair. I, I don't know what the hell, I'll probably have to wear some ugly shoes or something, but my foot actually will go down, and it's horrible. I can't step on the, on the, on the floor without my, boot or my shoe anything I mean it's just horrible folks so it's been depressing I've been in bed I need a lot of bed rest I'm out of work uh, I'm walking around with a boot I have a I have a knee card I'm looking into renting a a mobile disability freaking car whatever you call it, one of those things and I'm home so anyway folks uh, so I want to thank you guys really you guys have kept me you guys that will keep me going every time I put something crazy out there uh, you guys make comments in it and it brings the smiles right back to me. So folks, you're gonna see a lot of crazy stuff that I'm putting out there because I am bored to death. I am bored to death, folks. You're gonna see a lot of stuff out there. So anyway, folks, I just came on to thank everybody and to say that uh, if you go out tonight, stay safe, don't drink and drive because you might spill your drink. Uh, uh, and remember, tomorrow starts the new law in New York City about pay paper, a ban on paper bags. And you have to bring your own tote bags or paper bags or whatever it is, to the supermarket, or you gotta buy the bags. Of course, there's some exceptions, people who uh, are Snap, or whatever, I don't know, I'm not gonna get into that, I don't have to pay for the bags. But folks, uh, and people who use these bags, like my mother, who's all, who uses these things, and is going crazy, because the ban on plastic bags, she said, no more bags, no more bags, I can't, well, well don't be cheap, and go and buy hefty in the supermarket, or in the 99 cent store. Folks, I buy plastic bags at the 99 cent store and they're good quality. I know some of them are cheap, but this good quality. And believe me, I draw a garbage. You see the food I do, and I draw a garbage and never breaks anyway. I don't use these things because I don't like them. Anyway, folks, what's gonna happen is that people are going to start, this is going down to the black market. This is what's gonna happen. People are gonna start selling bags. I can see it now. And, and the guy standing in the corner can go, hey, how many you want? How many? Hurry up there. The plastic police are coming. How many you want? One, here, five cents. Hey, get out of here, lady. Go, go. You know, how many you want? Two? Two, this is my mother. Two? Give me two. Here, lady, here, go. You got any change? You got any change? That's what's going to happen because this is going to go in the black market. People are going to try to find a way to sell them and I don't know what the hell. So anyway, they're giving out paper bags like, I remember brown paper bags when I was a kid. Oh my God. I thought I would never see them again. And the other day I went to the supermarket, to the, uh, to Rite Aid. And I got a brown paper bag, and it brought my flashbacks. And today I went there again. I took a short trip down to the, soup, to the uh, right end across the street from where I live. And they gave me a brown paper bag. Well, folks, here starts my dilemma. When I got home, right in front of my door, I had some other plastic bags from the supermarket. And then from right end, I had the brown paper bag. And right in front of my door... It fell apart. It fell apart. So, so starts my dilemma with these plastic bags. And I have bad shoulders, folks. I've had surgery on both of my shoulders. And I can't, there's one arm, and it's not arthritis. I have this thing called trigger finger. My finger's bent. And it's like, I, I, I dropped the bag. I dropped the, everything came out of the bag. Like and you know, I can't do this. I can't do this. It was, I, I don't know how old people are gonna do it. I just don't know. But anyway, plastic bags are banned. So the whales are okay, the turtles and uh, well, whatever animals chew up uh, the bags and we're screwed out of bags. My opinion, I don't care, it's not yours, it's mine. Anyway folks, uh, that's my announcement on brown paper bags. 
And I love you guys. Uh, once again, uh, you'll probably see a lot of crazy stuff from me uh, posting on Facebook because I am bored to, ha bored to death, folks. I've been in bed with my foot up and I can't move around. I got crutches, I got a cane, I got a, a knee cart, uh, cart with a knee, a knee cart, whatever you call it. I'm looking into renting a scooter. It's horrible, horrible. I'm watching TV, I'm watching classic TV, I'm watching all kind of movies. I watched the uh, Julie Garland story the other day. It was a wonderful story. Oh my God, that lady suffered. Wonderful story, if you guys have a chance to watch it. Uh, I've been watching all these kinds of movies. I, I, I've lost track of them. Uh, uh, the story Elton John. Terrific story. Oh my God, terrific story. You gotta watch that. Elton John and Freddie, uh, Freddie Mercury uh, of Queen. You gotta watch that movie. So I've been watching all these crazy movies and I've been hopping around the house I'm getting some cooking today. I didn't cook because I had a day off. Whatever. Anyway, folks, love you guys. And uh, I hope you guys like my crazy post that I post. If you don't like it, well, hey, make a comment or don't make a comment, whatever the hell it is. Every time you guys make a comment, bring a smile to me because I feel the love. I really do. I feel the love from here. And I, I believe me. I look at these comments and I'm done and a big smile comes to my face. So anyway, folks, you guys know who you are. I don't want to mention you guys one by one because there's too many of you guys. But you guys know from Chelsea, from overseas, from North Carolina, South Carolina, from all those other states, from Virginia, people all over the place, from Florida, all my friends and family and friends, I want to thank you guys, really, from the bottom of my heart. Anyway, folks, I don't want to tell you, take up too much of your time, because I know you're probably getting ready to go out to clubbing or something like that. Clubs, anybody go to clubs anymore? I don't know. I don't think so. Anyway, folks, love you guys. This is Uncle Jesse, and uh, watch my crazy videos on YouTube. There's a lot of them. You go to Chelsea in my heart, and there's a bunch of videos there of Chelsea, my hometown, and uh, I got some bunch of, a bunch of other crazy videos here, I don't know. So if you're bored, watch my videos. If not, watch TV, or I don't know, what the hell. Well, have a beer. So anyway, folks, love you guys. See you guys soon when I get off my feet, when I, when I can get back on my feet, if ever. God bless you guys. Love you guys. Really.